Hello everyone and welcome back to part 17 of Let's Play Spyro 3 Reignited where in this part we are going to be doing my least favourite level in Spyro 3, Lost Fleet. So, <laughs> well, better do this. And there are quite a few levels, reasons why levels, what, I can't speak. This just goes to show how much I love this level, but basically... There are so many reasons why I am not a fan of this stage. <laughs> of which I'll keep explaining as I go through it. Although I will give it one thing, the main objective does have something to it, so... You be careful around these parts, little dragon. There be more ghosts in this here shipyard than I can shake my pick at. Darn shame too, if I was mighty close to finding my treasure. I love how it's like scripted with the way they speak and stuff like that. <laughs> but yes, uh, the main objective of this stage isn't too bad. And I will give you that the sky is quite pretty. So I suppose that is at least one good thing. However, this, my opinion, will soon change when I get to the skateboarding and the swimming minigame. Which is probably one of the main reasons why I'm not a fan of this level. And another reason why I'm not a huge fan of this level as well is because of the music. I mean, I don't know why they did it for the Greatest Hits version and reignited. And wow, I just killed that crab in like, that was one heck of a shot. But, I don't know why they've done it, but they've replaced the music with like a slightly modified Sheila's Alp theme. We haven't added da -da 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 that sort of thing. Like, now I much prefer the original music, which is from the uh, super bonus round theme in the original. Da -da 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 -da. Like, no. They tried to improve it, but yeah. Now I do like the sort of like pirate uh, theming with all the ships and stuff like that, but that's pretty much like the only thing I like about this level, and yeah. This level can go die, as far as I'm concerned. No, 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 I don't want to hurt myself. Now a lot of people do like to say they're swimming through the acid and stuff like that, but that's actually another reason why I don't like this level. And wow, I am dying. I am getting killed right here. Oh, I don't want to shoot him. And there we go, that's... But I mean, that was the main objective of the level, and it's done already. So, I've completed the main objective really quickly. So, I mean, that's over with, but... The problem is, the main objective is really short, but the rest of completing the level is really long, so that, that's just really stupid to me. I mean, obviously it's each to their own, but yeah, here we go. So there we go, now that we have Craig rescued, that is the level, it's the main objective, fully completed. So now it is part to get, oh, and I died. Shocker. <laughs> now I don't know how far back I am going to be, but I think the next ob next task I'm going to do is just shoot all the birds down, because I think there's a skill point for that, well, I think there's a couple of skill points for this level actually, I'm just going to have a look. Uh, Lost Fleet, oh no, there's only one. Uh, Skateboard record time. Oh no, that's... The skateboarding part is what I dislike the most about this level. But do you know what? I'm going to get the uh, the swimming part done first, actually, because... The swimming through the acid to get that egg.
And there we go. So, suppose that's that part out of the way, but it's far from over. Oh no! Why do I keep doing that? These here waters used to be my favorite diving spot, but I can't get any loot with these subs patrolling around. Think you can pilot this here sub I bought for scrap? Oh sure. Alrighty then. Press the jump button to speed on up, and when you get a sub in your sights, the torpedo will start to lock on. If you get a good lock on, fire away with the attack button. Thank you very much for that tip. Now I know how to pilot a submarine, <laughs> even though I've already done this objective so many times, but yeah, basically, what I usually do first for this is I shoot out all of these uh, chests, because then, at least after I've got the main objective of the level completed, I think there's two, yes, there's two, uh, I can basically just go... Just go swim around and collect all of the gems. And these guys are so hard to keep up with. I'm not gonna lie. Come on. Come on, come on. Yes! But well, don't worry, there's still more. Well, I'll be darned. You got some mean subdriving skills. Why don't you have this here egg as a reward? Oh, I know people are doing things outside and it's kind of distracting. But. But, as you guess it, there are more. To ask your help again, there'll be even more subs that don't come out of nowhere. If you could blast them, I could use this acid lake as my swimming hole again. Darn tootin'. Get on, little dragon. I just thought I'd get this part done. This level is so long. But it just doesn't seem to work to have such a short main objective, but have all the extras take like a long time. Now, if you love this level, I am really, really sorry to offend, but no, guys, uh, no. I think a favourite level from this world is either Frozen Altars, Ah, oh. Charmed Ridge. Yeah, I like Charmed Ridge. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, got it. Nice. The acid lake is safe for swimming again. I wish I could reward you better, but all I got left is this here other egg. Maybe there'll be something better in this one. So here we go now. We've got to go basically go do all of the swimming around for the rest of the gems. So. Now, this is one thing that annoys me a lot about this stage. Pretty much, when you when you think you've got all of the gems, you end up finding out that there somehow ha manages to be, or happens to be, a gem missing in one of the corners of, say, this level. And now, that, to me, is really annoying. Now, one another annoying thing really is, if you're swimming around in the acid, 
and your time runs out, you die straight away, regardless of whether you've got sparks or not. So, you definitely do not want to be hanging around in the acid. So as soon as you complete even the smallest part of an objective, I'd go and top up your, sh your shield, your, your power up, because otherwise, you're probably going to wind up dead. Now this is probably one of my least favourite swimming objectives in the whole game. Now another thing is as well, this green tint I do suppose looks really cool, but it really does obscure your view. Now apparently there is a mod. Now personally to me, I think that most of the levels in this game look a lot better without them filters in place. And well I am going to die, you know what, I'm going to die anyway and I think I've got all of the, uh, yes, there you go, showed you straight away, you basically just die if you run out, so, yeah, I think I fully completed this part of the level, so, I think what I'm going to do now, now that you die in this part, you should go back to the, no you don't, I thought you went back to the outside part, but, obviously not, but yeah, that's pretty much the, <laughs> the swimming objective done, more or less, so, I always like to clear that part out first because that's probably the most tedious part of the level. But that being said, we have got the skateboarding part to do, which, as I have previously said, is, yeah, not the best skate park in the game. Well, it's more of a skating track, to be honest, but, to, yeah, I much prefer the when it comes to skate parks, the one in Enchanted Towers is by far the best for me. I do like the one in Sunny Villa as well, but I think the one in Enchanted Towers is my favourite. Now this green tent does look pretty good under here, I will give you that. Well, I will give the game that, I mean... It's just in the area we're just in. It makes the picture far too dark in order to be able to see what you're actually doing. So, that's pretty annoying. Oops, uh-oh. So as you can see, the acid immediately hurts you, which is not a very good thing at all. Now. All the birds, I like to get out using this cannon up here because you can use the other one to take out one or two, but to be honest that is kind of pointless because you might as well just take them all out with a single cannon, which you can very easily do with this one. And I don't know if you see it, yep that chest is reset. Now that's another really annoying thing. I don't know if I'm be able to shoot it from over here. I don't think you can. Well, I think you can, but it, you have to be very spot on and precise. I can try it though, because I might as well get that while I'm at it. And I don't think it's going to work. I don't know if I'm shooting far enough, but, you know, I'm going to just use the other cannon because I want to give that up. Yes. So, yeah, this, this isn't really all that hard if you get your aim sort of precise, but doing that can take a little bit of learning. You know, first time I actually played through this game, it must have taken me like 15 minutes to be able to get the cannon aim correct, but now that I'm used to it, at least I can sort of like get it precisely every single time, so. I 
thought I took him out then, but maybe it might make sense to use other cannon. I'm not too sure, but... Yes, there we go. And whilst I'm at it, I think I'll shoot down all the crabs down there, so at least I am... Oh, what, Mr. Bird? Now, this is something that happens every time you play through Reignited for the first time. Let's say on the PlayStation 4, there is a trophy for killing off all these birds. But... You're not forced to unlock it. Even if you was to get... 100% completion in this level. Now that's another annoying thing as well. All of these crabs reset, so I'm actually going to take them out because then I've got no chance of being hit. Oh no! And that's another reason why this is probably the most annoying level in the game. these crabs can be a real pain. Thank goodness this level's nearly over. Ah. Maybe I should be trying to make this video as unbiased as possible, but... No. I am not going to force myself to like something that I am not too overly fond of. And you know what, whilst I'm at it I am going to get that chest because if I don't, I am more than likely going to just forget it. Yes. I believe I've got most of the gems so far. And this is something else I'm going to do in this part as well, because I did it in my other part, uh, where I did High Caves from Spyro 1, where I put the original music from the PAL version in. Well, that's what I think I'm going to do now with this version as well, uh, for, for the Lost Fleet soundtrack. So, uh, I'm just going to make a shortcut and... I will see you all back when I have inserted the original music, so... So here we go, we have the Super Bonus Round music playing, so I thought I'd actually show off a level with that, and as you can probably hear already, this goes a thousand times better, this level, with the Super Bonus Round music, so... Yeah. Anyway, we'll speak to Hunter real quick. Skateboard gangs challenged us to a race. They said you're slower than a molten crater fire slug. I stuck up for you though. I told them I've seen some pretty fast fire slugs. So, are you ready to race these guys? They bet us an egg that you won't win. Bring it on. Right on. I think I smell a barbecue. A racing board. Every time you do a trick, it builds up turbo charge. You can use your turbos at any time by pressing the charge button. Good luck. I had to do that, I just had to do that. Well, a lot of people uh, say that the skateboarding is really bad in Reignited. I personally disagree because I don't know, I can, I, I can just never master the skateboarding in the original Spyro 3. And wow, I am doing so well already on this. I am already messing up. Oh no! Now this skateboarding control is pretty bad. And to be honest, this whole race sucks to be honest. But I think if I try it, I might be able to make a comeback from this. I can only 
have a go. Come on. Yes. Now he can hit the other skate bot skaters, so. And as you can probably hear, that soundtrack already sounds a lot better. I don't understand why they decided to make a Sheila's Out remix. Shouldn't they have made like its own soundtrack or something like that? Wouldn't that have like made more sense? But no, they haven't, so. on. Right, I've got one heck of a lead, so this is actually going pretty well. Just go to collect as many gems as I can, because then it's less backtracking to do. Because I should, in theory, still be able to win. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, there we go. First time. Yes! You schooled them like a bunch of dizzy, one-toed sand norks. Oh, yeah. I guess we won this egg, too. Oh, yes. Now, I don't know why the egg is so far away from Ponta, that makes absolutely no sense at all. Now that the Rhinox are gone, do you want to try a real challenge? I know you're fast, but I bet you can't defeat all the crabs on the course and still beat me in a race. Want to give it a shot? You're on, pal. Right. Eat my skate dust, sucker. And another reason why the super bonus round music uh, fits this stage better as well is pretty much because there is like a skateboarding mission in the super bonus round anyway where it's sort of like a jet board or something like that the yeti race at the end so it does kind of fit this section now it actually makes me wonder why couldn't they just use that music maybe for this section because that would have actually fit really well So I'm missing some crabs. Right, this one isn't really all that hard. Right, come on, I've got one more crab to defeat. I can do this, come on. Sorry for my chair squeaking again, that's so annoying I know, but... Oh, come on, where's this last crab? Oh, it's on the shortcut, isn't it? Oh, it's, oh, it's on the normal route. There we go. Come on. Oh, no. That's me trying to get as many boost uh, combos as I can, but it always never goes right, so I'm forced to... Oh, no. I will be really embarrassed if this is going to take another attempt. Now, there's no look back fun function, so that's pretty annoying. Oh no! I got this, I got this, I got this, yes! Right, now it's just to beat the skateboard record time. I can't believe you beat me! You must have been practicing the whole time while I thought you were just looking for eggs. Hey, speaking of which, one of those crabs was guarding this one. Now, this one is a bit closer to Hunter, not over at the other side of this section. So here we go, Hunter's course record. How is this going to go? You might be able to beat me at skateboarding, but I'd still win in a popularity contest. So now all I need to do is hop on the skateboard. and beat the time record, which I believe is 1 minute and 45 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, no, no. Oh, you know what, screw it, I'm going to restart. Now, I am quite good at vehicle controlled games, like racing games and stuff like that, but 
so maybe I am not too bad at this. I don't know, but all I can tell you is I am definitely not the best. If I was ever to do, let's say, Spyro speedruns, I'd probably mess it all up on these vehicle sections. Maybe that's what I need to practice more at. I mean, Year of a Dragon, I'd be pretty bad at speedrunning anyway. I'd say when it comes to doing speed, this is more for casual plays, uh, Spyro 3 I'd say, but I'd say when it comes to Spy what I'd really do for Spyro 3 is mostly just, I'd probably do pretty bad. But Spyro 2 I'd do pretty okay, Spyro 1 I'd do pretty good at, I've got, you know, great confidence that I'd do good in a Spyro 1 speedrun. And speaking of that, hopefully soon we'll be able to arrange Spyro uh, speedruns, so that'll be pretty fun. And Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention as well is, I'm doing Lost Fleet now, and whoa, 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 how did I go really fast then? Is, I'm doing this now, because basically, I'm basically doing it before Hunter gets locked away. Because obviously Hunter gets locked away uh, after a couple of levels, so if I get this done now, at least I can complete Hunter's section. And yes, I think I've done it, yes! Right, 2.2 seconds. Wow, that is close. But now I've got to go through the rest of the level and collect the gems. Now, in this version, I don't think... I think you could do it in the original. Please correct me if I am mistaken. But I think you could actually go on foot around the skateboarding section. Now, that would be a lot better. Because then you'd have more control over where you're going to get the gems. Whereas if you're on the jet board... It's going to be really, really hard to, like, be able to collect all the gems, so... That is one really annoying thing about Reignited. Maybe that's one of the flaws with the whole skateboarding thing, but... To be honest... Go up here. See if there's some gems up there. And I think there's a gem round here. Is there? There's five gems missing. Right, I wonder where they are. I think I might know where they are. And, oh, I'm not... You know what? I'm not going to get anywhere if I keep making silly mistakes like that. Because then I haven't got the power. Oh, to, to do the jumps. Oh, no. Oh, well, let me on foot then for a bit, but... Come on. And I really do apologise that my commentary has not been the best today. So I'm really sorry about that. It's probably because I am not the most interested <laughs> in this level. Even though I should really be adding some entertainment value to this part. But not really that I can think of anything too much to say about this level. Oh no no! I fell in the water. Now this level is pretty cool to explore. I will give it that, with the infinite flying glitch, because then you can explore. You can find these mini games, but they're like in the long distance. So basically, you've got to just you've got to fly far in order to explore. Right, where is this last five gems? I want to know. But thank goodness we've got the Sparks Finder, so hopefully I should be able to find them pretty quickly. So if I just quit this race by losing, pretty catastrophically. Oh, here we go. So they must be in another section then. Oh, please don't tell me they're in that swimming section. Oh, no, they better not be. You see, this is one of the things that really annoys me about this level. Finding gems. Oh, they're over here. Uh, let me have a look. Oh, no, no, no. Up here? Where is Sparks pointing? 
Because I know Sparks does that thing. Oh, over there, really? Over there? Like, everywhere I've explored this level. So yes, we've got 100% Lost Fleet completed, so this level is now done and out of the way. I no longer have to worry about it. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. <laughs> now, I think in the next part, I'm going to do Fireworks Factory, because... That stage isn't too bad, but it is one of my least favourites still. But I think I might get Fireworks Factory done in the next part, because, you know... Why not get that done and out of the way? Hunter is going to get locked away, so doing Honey Speedway will be a little bit uh, tricky to do in this world, but we'll just have to defeat the boss, Scorch, first. But we should still be able to do Scorch and Honey Speedway both together in this in a single part, so I won't worry too much about that. But anyway, in the next part, uh, we will be doing Fireworks Factory, everyone, so... I hope you all look forward to that. I know a lot of people love this level, so uh, thank you so much for watching. The Complete Lost Fleet, my least favourite level in Spyro 3. And once again, I do apologise, my commentary has not been the best, because it's Lost Fleet. <laughs> and I don't really have a lot to say about the level, but anyway, enough on that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in part 18, where we do Fireworks Factory. So I will see you all then.